Silicon Valley Bank is being bailed out. We just got news over what's going to happen next. So we're going to talk about that, talk about what it means and what I mean by bailed out. Uh, it's not like the shareholders are going to get bailed out, but depositors are getting bailed out. Also, uh, crypto is looking really good with Bitcoin pushing up against 22,000. We'll take a look at that, talk about why that may be happening, along with why the stock market's up as well, because it is looking pretty good, stock market futures. If you don't mind hitting the subscribe button underneath the video, I really appreciate that. I've been making so many videos. A few hours ago, I talked about how the next 48 hours will be kind of crazy. So if you haven't seen that video already, I'll put that on the end screen along with my video earlier today, talk about how much Ethereum you need to retire. If you want to get post faster, you can check out the link to the Patreon underneath the video. I really appreciate that. And there you can also see what I'm buying and selling. Now, as you can see, Crypto's looking really good. I mean, in the last 24 hours, the whole market's up 4%, but Bitcoin's up 7%, uh, Ethereum's up 8%, and everything generally is pretty bullish, and part of that is just because the pre-market is looking so good. NASDAQ's up 1.26%, and uh, even before that, crypto is moving up, which I talked about in my video earlier why that may be, but now... We're getting some news, a joint press release coming from the Treasury, Federal Reserve, and FDIC. Now, I haven't been in the stock market for like 20 years or anything like that, but I haven't seen too many reports that have been uh, joint from these different uh, from these different departments and different parts of the government. Uh, so this is pretty big. They say today we are making a decision uh, we're making decisive actions to protect the U.S. economy by strengthening public confidence in our banking system. This step will ensure that the U.S. banking system continues to perform its vital roles of protecting deposits and, and providing access to credit uh, to households and businesses in a manner that promotes strong and sustainable economic growth. After receiving a recommendation from the boards of the FDIC and Federal Reserve and consulting with the president, Secretary Yellen approved actions enabling the FDIC to complete its resolution of Silicon Valley Bank, Santa Clara, California, in a manner that fully protects all depositors. Depositors will have access to all their money starting Monday, March 13. So starting tomorrow, they'll have access to all of their money. Pretty massive right there. No losses associated with the resolution of Silicon Valley Bank will be borne by the taxpayer. I don't know exactly. Let me know in the comments if you know how this is going to be done to, uh, in the sense that no one will have to bear the brunt of this because if it's coming from the government, right, you would think that we have to deal with it. Maybe they'll just print more money to make them whole. I don't know. We're also announcing a similar systemic risk exception for Signature Bank, New York, New York, where... Uh, which was closed today by its state chartering authority. This was just announced. All depositors of this institution will be made whole. As with the resolution of Silicon Valley Bank, no losses will be borne by the taxpayer. Shareholders and certain unsecured debt holders will not be protected. Senior management, who has also been uh, has also been removed, any losses to the deposit insurance fund to support uninsured depositors will be recovered by a special assessment on banks as required by law. Finally, the Federal Reserve Board on Sunday announced it will make uh, it will make available additional funding to eligible depository institutions to make or to help assure banks have the ability to meet the needs of all their depositors. Now, there's a lot to unpack there, but basically they're coming in and they're going to make everyone whole from these two different banks. This is great news. Uh, they have access to all their money tomorrow, which is going to cover up a lot of problems. Now, a lot of people have gone through so much stress last week. I, I do not envy them. Uh, for me, it was actually pretty fascinating to watch this all unfold. I realized that, you know, a lot of people would be affected. So I was, I was rooting for them being helped out. Uh, the UK are, is also going to bail out the Silicon Valley Bank UK. So Bank of London is officially submitting a bid for Silicon Valley Bank UK. I don't know if they still have to do this or not, but this is causing the market to feel a lot better. Uh, you can see pre-markets up, NASDAQ's up, cryptocurrencies up. A lot of people feeling a little bit more confident, even for me, right? I have my money at uh, three different institutions and some of them do pay a decent amount. And I thought, okay, maybe I need to move it over to just like JP Morgan Chase and just make it as safe as possible because the other two institutions I have it in are a little bit smaller, but they're risk averse. But now 
uh, there are going to be a lot of people like me that are not as worried about it, right? We're not going to cause as many runs on banks as if they just were silent all weekend. Now, they still have the emergency Fed meeting tomorrow, and then there's CPI on Tuesday. A lot of us probably forgot about that even. But CPI is coming Tuesday. That will drive the markets for the next week. So we'll have to see what comes out of that. Remember, we had a couple revisions last period, and we had a pretty high CPI number um, just last month as well. So hopefully it goes smoothly. If it does, I think a market will probably rally. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll really need to see the Fed come in and start lowering rates again. If they're saying, hey, we'll basically backstop this. If anything goes awry, you're fine. We'll take care of it. I think that does provide a lot of confidence. So I think this was smart because, again, maybe they can continue to raise rates. Maybe not 50 basis points like they were considering, but 25 basis points, 25 basis points, 25 basis points and so on. Now, crypto is also moving up on this news. You can see here Bitcoin with a big green day. I mean, we were at 20, well, we were under 20,000 yesterday, and now we're up at 22, basically. Just broke 22. Ethereum's right under 1,600. I was hoping, I was hoping uh, selfishly that we would see a little bit more red, maybe retesting some levels that we had seen previously on Ethereum and Bitcoin, uh, just to buy a little bit more long term. But, you know, if we hold this level, I think that's pretty bullish. I mean, back here, we had seen some support a few weeks ago, um, like mid February, around 21,400. And now we're above that we actually bounced off of it a little bit earlier today, we were holding above it for a while as well, because we went up to 21,600, then stayed above 21,000. Now, if we continue to be up around this 22,000 level, I think it's going to be pretty positive. Now, a lot of other cryptocurrencies are up too, but you can see Bitcoin is more leading the pack than it has over the last few days and weeks. It's up 7% while the whole market's only up 4%. You know, a lot of cryptos are up here, but uh, I think everyone's still a little bit worried about the stable coin market. So I'm guessing there's still some money flowing out of uh, flowing out of some of these stable coins and moving into some of these altcoins and cryptos. I mean, Matic, big move there. 8.4%. Now, USDC is also much closer to the peg. Uh, this might be a little arbitrage play if you wanted to buy this right now. I mean, you'd basically make 1% or something like that. You could probably make more in any other crypto. But there is a little arbitrage opportunity there because their deposits are secured now. I, I feel like this was a very smart thing to do before this gets away from the U.S. government and there's bank runs and then uh, people are losing jobs because banks are going under, I think it made sense for them to step in. Now, over the last few days, I talked about some of the top cryptos that I'm, I would be looking at buying over the, the next couple of weeks. I talked about how much Ethereum you need to retire. And I also did a video earlier about how the next 48 hours will be crazy. Uh, if you haven't seen those, I would definitely check them out. I can't put all of them on the end screen. I'll put a couple. Also, thank you just for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see future videos just like this link on the end screen. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.